Welcome back, everybody, to a Free to D, <laughs> known as the VIP. Make your vibration very important to you. I'm um, not too much on introductions, but welcome. Anyway, we're going to tap dance tonight, today, on uh, Roger Fort Fortson, the U.S. airman that was shot and killed by Florida deputies at his doorstep. Um, let's go ahead and listen to a little clip real quick. The deputy acted in self-defense, but... Rogerson, Roger Fortson's family says the deputy went to the wrong apartment. I want to warn you, too, that uh, some of this video may be a little difficult to watch. Jared Hill has more. Before we, before we show that part, I don't believe in wrong apartment. I don't believe in no wrong damn apartment. I don't believe in that. So they, they, they can dismiss me with the wrong apartment, okay? They can dismiss me with the wrong apartment. I don't believe in no wrong apartment. Not only that, that officer did not have to shoot that boy, that man, grown man, six times. It was overkill. That's my opinion. He did not have to shoot that, but that, that man six times. He shot him six times, point blank. Six times. Let's continue. Sheriff's office open the door. In newly released body cam video, an unnamed deputy with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Department knocks on the door of 23-year-old senior airman Roger Sheriff's Fortson's apartment. The door. Fortson answers with a handgun pointed downward. Seconds later, the deputy shoots. He shot up. My baby was shot up. Fortson's family is now demanding answers. Authorities say they were responding to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance. Come on now. Come on now. Really? Shot him six times. So you mean to tell me the 911 dispatcher got 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 it wrong? So the 911 dispatcher shot the wrong address? Shot the because the, the, the 911 dispatcher is the one that takes the calls, right? And delivers the address of where they need to go, right? So you mean to tell me the 911 dispatcher, whoever took that phone call, need to be fired? Right? She needs to be fired. Right? You sent the deputies to the wrong door. Also, I have a problem with you shooting him six times. But also, I know his mother's thinking and he's gone now. Baby, why did you come to that door with that fucking gun? Excuse my language. Damn. Woo. Let's continue. Like Fortson's mother Mika says he was home alone on FaceTime with his girlfriend during the shooting. A portion of that FaceTime, which appears to be from after the shooting, was released by the family's attorney. Law enforcement can be heard talking about Fortson's injuries. CBS News has added the subtitles. Tell the truth about my baby. My baby was not going to hurt you. My baby was not in the wrong. I want to assure you that we are not hiding, covering up, or taking action that would result in a rush to judgment of Mr. Check this out. The officer had no business shooting him six times. You could have disabled him with one shot in his foot, in his thigh, in his leg. You didn't have to shoot him six times. And matter of fact, he was pointing the gun down. You should have told him, sir, put your gun down. He could have dropped it right then. But you had to shoot him six times because you're not ready to be a police officer, right? Your anxiety took over. Is that what we're going to say? Or you thought he was going to shoot you? You seen a black man with a gun and just automatically thought he was going to shoot you, right? Okay. All right. Okay. But you got a call for a domestic dispute. So seeing a black man with a gun just automatically triggered you to, to just clicking. That's what you did. That's what you did. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Mr. Let's continue. Or our deputy. The family's attorney, Ben Crum, says the deputy went to the wrong apartment. State investigators are looking into the shooting. Jared Hill, CBS News. Now the deputy who shot Fortson has been placed on administrative leave. As he should. So you've been injured in a recent As he car, should. And you want to get a major As he should. Like this right here. As he should. As he should. Come on, man. Went to the wrong address. So whose fault is that? The dispatch or did you hear it wrong? 
Let's read some comments. A verbal announcement doesn't mean shit. Without visual recognition, was the resident a bit stupid? Yes. Was he wrong? No. The officer could have easily retreated to safety while drawing his weapon in order to get another chance to communicate. If you were... What is this, Leo? And think this officer followed protocol, you have no business being on the force. I don't know what LEO means. Hate watching this. I, I live in a state that doesn't have numerous gun owners. We have the guns, but shotguns, a few rifles, and about a half a dozen handguns. Don't kill people, do. Oh, my gee, this is a crazy world. Mm, 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 mm. This is just heart wrenching. I have five boys. I take a look at that young man, I see my boys. That's what happens when you give a scared little boy a gun. He saw a weapon and drew and fired. Not a single thought other than, oh shit. Then he shoots a man with a gun that's armed at the ground. See, he was a scared little boy with a gun. That's what's wrong with this world. Cops used to be about the law. Nowadays, people want the power and comes with the badge, not the honor of serving the citizens that it's supposed to represent. I agree, Grease Monkey. That's from Grease Monkey. I agree. My condolences for your loss. My prayers go out to the family. Tragic all around. One thing I would recommend to any gun owner is never answer your door with your firearm, even if it's pointed down, especially if the police are knocking. That's just going to open you up exactly what happened here. Either open the door calmly with your hands up or don't open the door at all. Yell through the door asking questions like, why are you here at this address, confirming the address and name and getting as much information as possible. Answering, hold on, answering the door with a gun, with a handgun. On the video. Hold on. Okay, right there. It's over there. What else? Get a sippy cup out of the um, freezer. It, his, his backpack is behind the suitcase. Okay, what else do we have, y'all? Who was the lady who told the officer the disturbance was in 1401? She said a lady called and was very scared. What, what lady? They're trained to carry weapons. What if a cop no answer his own door without a gun and leave upstairs in the bedroom? Nah, the cop clearly announced that he's a cop multiple times and the guy still comes to the door with a gun in his hand. We acknowledge that. We acknowledge that he came to the door with a gun. And, and, and that, wasn't a, that wasn't a good move. But at the same time, these are officers. They're supposed to have training. They go to boot camp for this kind of stuff. So it just breaks my heart that this happened. The caller, just exactly what I said, the caller needs to be held accountable to saying they don't know which apartment these Karen needs to pay to. <laughs> you got that right. Wrong door, self-defense, same lies, different story, it says. But even at domestic violence, do police show up with their gun out? I've seen many situations where they want to talk. This tyrant already was ready to shoot. He should be prosecuted. Gun owner had his weapon pointed down and I never even heard him give a command to drop the gun. That's right. The whole situation was just wrong. That man had to lose his life. I just 23 years old. I'm confused. Was the cop in immediate danger for him to shoot? This guy was on high alert to begin with. And the call was for a domestic argument. Who was really on FaceTime with where he where they were arguing? Dumb cop got off on the wrong floor. He was specially told the apartment was on the fourth floor. Instead, he got off on the third floor, went to the wrong apartment. That's what I'm talking about. Why did you go? To, go why did you go to the apartment? And you know what? The lady was outside. You seen the lady talking to them. She probably told him to do it. Anyway, you guys, that's the end of this story. Um. Rest in peace, Roger Forsman. Uh, my prayers go out to his mom. I, it's just heart-wrenching. There's nothing that anyone can say to bring her to peace. She's in pieces, and I don't blame her. I have five boys of my own, and um, it just sends, sends you into a um, frenzy about this. This is just sad. He lost his life over nothing, over the wrong identification and wrong address. And as black folks, black people, as Black America, period. We always, 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 it's always the wrong person, right? They locking our men up for um, charging them with, um, 
that's it's a story. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to do that story. Man got 44 years for rape over a crime he did not commit. Um, the prosecution didn't want to hear. They didn't release no evidence. That's because when stuff like that happened, they already know who did it. It's surprised somebody on the force. That's my opinion. Somebody's on the force. You already know who did it when you don't want to look into something. You know who did it. It's a cover up. But as black America and black people, um, we always get either wrong identity, wrong man, wrong time, wrong house, wrong charge. This is Free to D, Late Night Bike, Take Flight. You guys take care of yourselves.